Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyKidify tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert copy and remove rows in your table widget. All right, so here's the application we'll be creating in this exercise. From this application, I have a table widget. On the right hand side, I have three buttons. The first button is going to create a new row. And the second button is going to make a copy of the last row. So for example, if I type something in row 3, now if I click on copy, and that's going to make a copy of the last row. And finally, we have the remove button, which is going to remove the, the last row. Now let me close the window. Now open your Python editor. And let me make the font size a little bit bigger. I'm going to import the system module and from the PyQt5.Qt widgets module. I'm going to import Q application, Q widgets, Q header view, Q abstract item view, and the push button, and the table widgets. Oops, and let me make a new line as well as uh, Q table widget item. And to organize the widgets, I will import the QV box layout and the H box layout. Right, so that's all the classes we need from the QT widgets module. For the, and there's one more class I need to import, which is the QT uh, class. So from QT core, I'm going to import the Qt class. So first I'm going to create is my table widget template. So I'm going to name this class table widgets. I'll pass the Q table widget as the parent class. So let's set the table dimension. We're going to have one row and five columns by default. Here I'm going to configure my table widget. So I'll set the horizontal uh, header labels. Uh, with column A, B, C, D, E. So I can use uh, the list function and separate uh, uh, my string into individual column. Next, I want to set the vertical headers default size. So from vertical header, that sets default session size. I'm going to set the size to 50. And for the horizontal header, I'll set the uh, default session size to, let's see, let's do uh, 250. I also want to set the column width to fix column width. So I don't want users to be able to adjust the column width. And to do that, so I'll reference the horizontal header dot set session resize mode. And from the Q header view class, I'll reference the fixed value. And that's all the uh, configuration I want to I want to insert to my table widget. All right now let's create the the methods to perform the row insertion row removal, and row copying in action. So I'm going to create my first method, underscore add row. And the reason why I'm inserting an underscore uh, before the before the uh, function name is because uh, there's a function called uh, remove row. And the remove row method is already built in, in the uh, Q table widget. So you're able to create another function to, uh, to perform the row removal action. So I want to just make my name convention consistent when I create my own methods. So I'll name this method uh, remove row. And this one will be copy row. All right, so let's start with the uh, row insertion first. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the total row count. And next, we can uh, insert the row, giving the row count. And 
and to remove a row so I can insert if condition so if row count is greater than zero then I want to use the remove row method then I want to provide the row index and it's going to be row count minus one and to make a copy of a row so here uh, let me insert a new row first next I want to get the last row count I also want to get the column count now we need to iterate each column so for J in range and column count and let me put the table back so each cell is a Q table widget item object and by default the cell is a non type until you enter something so if I uh, if I type something in column B1 if I iterate this row right here and the first cell which is uh, A1 is going to return a non type object and if I simply try to print the value of A1 then I'm going to get a num type error. First, uh, if I uh, try to print the cell value in B in B1, then I'm able to print the value. So to address the num type error, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert if condition. I'm going to say that if not self the item, and I want to grab the row count from the previous uh, value. So if the previous value given the column index is none or is not none. So here I insert the not statement. Then I want to set the item. And using the value from the previous row. So this will be minus one. Then I want to insert the value using the Q table widget item class. Then want to provide the value. And that's it. All right, so we're not we're now finished with the add row, remove row, and copy row methods. Now let's create our app demo class, which is going to be our application template. I'm going to pass key widgets class as the parent class. At the bottom, I'll create my Q application instance. And I'll construct my app demo instance as demo. Inside my app, I want to resize the window first. Next, I want to create my main layout object. And it's going to be a horizontal layout. Next, I want to create my table widget. And I'll name the object table equals to table widget. And I'll add the table widget to my main layout. Now, let's just take a look at the application. So here I'm getting an error. Uh, demo is not defined. Oh, this should be app demo. And this should be resize table widgets. All right, so we're basically fixed in the typos now. Oh, so here's my typo. And here's another typo. And here's another one. So horizontal. So here I have a blank window and I send the Y. So here I forgot to set the layout. 
All right, so here's my, my table. Now let's create our buttons. So I'm going to create a button layout uh, object. And let's call this layout button layout. And it's going to be a vertical layout. I'll create my uh, add row button first. So I'll name this button, button new. I'm going to make a copy two more times. And I'll just uh, change the name to copy and remove. So copy, oops, and remove. And to reference to the methods inside the uh, table widget template, so what we can do is we can uh, reference the button object first, dot click, dot connects, and we reference the, the table object, followed by the method name. And we'll do the same for other buttons. I need to add buttons to my button layout. So button layout dot add widgets. And I'll insert the button object. I also need to add the button layout to my main layout object. Now if I just launch the application, and on the right hand side you can see that my buttons is pretty spread out. So there's a huge space in between. And to fix that, we need to push the last button, which is which is the remove button uh, upward. And to do that, so let's go to the button remove statements. And from the button layout that add widgets, we can set the alignments. And we can align to the top. So it will be qt dot align top. And I'll group the buttons on the top. And notice that my buttons uh, font is a little bit too small. So here let me do this. I'm going to set the buttons CSS style. So within the app object. And I'm going to specify that I want to uh, change the CSS style to the uh, push button. And for the font size, let's do 20 pixel. And for the width, let's do 200. And for the height, let's do 50. All right, so that's everything we need to write. Now, if I launch the application, and if I just do a quick testing, so if I type something A, B in uh, column A, and column B in column C, and if I click on new, and that's going to create an empty row. Now if I, uh, let me see if I can make a copy, which I can. Uh, so let me change the value to A1, which is A2, oops, A2, B2, C2. And if I make a copy, and that's going to make a duplicate copy of the previous row. Now if I click on remove, and that's going to uh, remove all the rows because I clicked the button three times. All right, so remember before I told you that uh, if a cell has no value, then that cell is going to treat as num type. If I remove this uh, if condition and simply just try to uh, run this line right here, and let's see what is going to happen. So if I type something and click on copy, and I'm getting an attribute num type error. And it's because, oops, let me launch the application again. It's because uh, why enter the, the value in the first three cells? Q table widget uh, recognize that uh, these three cells has some values, but the last two uh, cells have no values. So it's going to treat the last two cells as num type object. So that's why we need to insert this uh, if condition. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.